Hey guys, Fitz here with another video, and today this person commented on my how to make a perfect MIDI file video. Um, his name is Alex Goodness, and um, he's uh, he was asking me this morning actually uh, how to convert an MP3 file or something like that to a MIDI, and not like that, where it's just all one note. Well, I mean, all one instrument. So, I, I thought about it a bit, and here's how you're going to do it. You are going to buy the full version by active. You're going to get hit and mix, buy the full version of it by activating it, and then buy the full version of IntelliScore ensemble you're gonna have to download both anyways you know I'm going to show you how you do this first you first want to add your music it's a bit of a mess I know anyways let me just get that up Oh, where is it? Oh, here it is. There we go. Quick access. No. No. Let it go. One sec, let me check this. I swear I downloaded it. I'm sure of it. Anyways, sorry for this problem. I swear I downloaded it. Oh my gosh. Okay, um, let me just go back into my history and get this. Sorry guys for the inconvenience. I did not know that I didn't get this should have been downloaded. There we go. O4 instrumental. We want to make sure it's O4 instrumental. There we go. You see that? That's what we want. We want that. This is around 30 seconds, 26 seconds. Hit and mix just by itself can only go up to um, 45 seconds. But if you activate it, um, you get more than 45 seconds so I would recommend that you get more than that this takes a while I'm sorry about that so anyways Alex whatever thank thank you so much this is, I am so glad you commented on my video I'm just so happy because like this just just makes me happy I know this takes a while. I better get the other one up. Okay, so this is an Telescore Ensemble. It's basically an MP3 to MIDI converter. It's a much better version. Now, I would suggest buying it, but, um, for right now, I am going to show you how to do it. Show you what to do. You're going to make sure you get the instrumental up. And then it is going to ask you these four things. It's going to ask you the drum recognition the beat detection or I do not know you do not want it to be put on I do not know you want to make sure it's that the reason why we're using hidden mix is to tell what instruments are in the song unless you don't want to use hidden mix and you have another program it's fine with me 
Anyways, you want to make sure it's multiple. Acoustic grand piano, you can name the ensemble anything, but I'm just going to keep it the same. Now for this, I would just want to keep it the same. Then you just want to do that. And then you want to do a few more things. Oh, yes, I forgot about that. Sorry for a sec. And, okay, is it done? Is it done? Is it done? Yep, it's done. Okay, so here's my... <laughs> So there's the music I have. Now we're going to see. We have piano, bass, sax, piano, bass, and a sax. Piano, bass, sax, guitar. Okay? That's all we need. Careful with the sound, it's very annoying. We're just gonna keep it in acoustic bass. Oh wait, never mind about the sound. Anyways, okay, we have a bass. What else do we have? We have a... I would say soprano sax. And, oh wait, 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 one, one more, I think. We also have a drum of some sort. I don't know what that is. But I can tell you that we don't need the drums. Oh wait, we do need the drums, sorry. Forgot about that. Anyways, we have that. We do not need it in the mix anymore. Bye bye. Okay, now I'm just showing this without getting the full version of anything. It's just to simplify it. Okay, now we're going to click apply. We're going to click OK, and we're going to click Finish. Now we're going to let this load a little bit. And then I think it should make a better MIDI file. This takes a while. Okay. If you understood this. Okay. For this, we are good. Now we are going to open that up in here.
Yeah, that's not that. That's not the best, but you know, I could simplify it in this new program that I use. This uses MIDI's. Let's not save it in the program. Okay, this is using Vocaloid. I know it's not the best, but it's better than nothing. Jumping and jumping and jumping. That's all we're doing. It's painful, I know. Okay, we are going to go to... Something that says, there it is. Okay, the one that says 11 time, the one that we picked. And yes, we are going to dispatch multi track. And I know this is not the best. This is the only way to normalize it. So you can hear what it actually looks. Oop, forgot about that. I'm gonna have to do this a few times. Sorry, guys. It shouldn't take too long. I'm trying to speed it up. I know that doesn't sound anything like the original, but it is better. But it is a much simplified. Wait, that isn't the right word. But it is sort of like. When compared to this. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. I doubted myself for a sec there, sorry. Okay, so, Alex, um, whatever your name is, I forget again. Alex, your name, insert name here, I don't know. Anyways, this is how you do it. If you're still confused, I don't know how to help you, okay? Thank you for watching. I hope you'll like the videos to come on this channel.